Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, what's up, Saggy babies? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Saggy between the first and the fifteenth of March? Hmm. <laughs> Are we going through a time of releasing internal conflict about it, even though our intuition is already telling us which way to move? <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if that does not resonate with you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. This is just a general. It's not a personal reading, okay? If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. And hit me up, boo. Just send me an email, boo. <laughs> this will be for my summer Rising and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Sagittarius between the 1st and the 15th of March. Y'all, we made it. How does it feel? To say that you made it, because you did. Shit, we all did. We was trucking and pushing. I'm an Aries. It's been hell, okay? But you know what? As long as, you know, I, I feel, I always say that God gives his toughest battles to the strongest warriors. So, you know, that's a positive way to look at everything that we go through. But, you know, you got to look at it like this. We signed up for this. You see that little shadow back there? I don't have shadow people behind me, y'all. No, that's my shadow. I had to work, make the lighting work, and I used a very riggish way, but we going to get it popping, all right? Um, <laughs> um, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We only dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cry because we share, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten, you know, posy vibes only, all right? So uh, if you're new, newly subscribing, welcome to the family. Returning family, I love y'all. It's been quite some time. So we finna drop these Jews for the first of of March, all right? Let's get it. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with your intuitive messages first. As I was meditating on the energy of Sagittarius, Sagittarius, intuitively, this is what I received. You guys have a lot of people in your energy that you really needing to release, okay? The overall energy around the reading is uh, the Ten of Diamonds with the King of Wands. So let me know that definitely this is you who are needing to release people, places, things, get rid of the damn nouns in your life. That just is not going to benefit your growth, okay? So I, intuitively, what I got was finalizing new love. It won't prosper. Truth. Rectifying. Successful business. Forgiveness, family, divine intervention, past life, ancestors, fortune, partnership, cleansing, impulsive decisions, wealth, travel, communication, dead end, trust issues. I also received Taurus, Leo, Cancer, Aries, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra and Capricorn. Okay, so you guys definitely take what resonates as far as the intuitive messages, and you guys leave the rest. It will resonate with some and not everybody, but intuitively, um, if those intuitive messages did resonate with any of you, any of those your situations going on and things that you're internally feeling, then this message is definitely for you. Okay, so your archangel message comes uh, that, that you got this month was gifts from God. Okay, it says Archangel Sandifon is who brings you your message. We angels bring you gifts from the from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So the things that you're having to release, just know that they were only blockages to your abundance. And that spirit is committed to bestow some beautiful things in your life if only you be um, receptive and allowing. Okay? So some of you all are really needing to focus on during this time. For some of you all, your throat chakra, speak up for yourself. It is not... You don't handle your issues by running away and just ghosting people because it's a way of leaving a damn window open. Shut If you're going to shut the door all the damn way, shut the door. Don't leave the window open, okay? But you guys are really needing to get in tune with using more emotion, more so than intellect during this time. And I feel that that spirit's way of saying to feel your way through. A lot of you all are empaths. Some of you all are newer in, or are just freshly awakening, okay? You're going through a major awakening right now. And in doing so, you're having to do so in solitude, okay? So some of you all, who are questioning, well, what the hell is wrong with me? What's going on? There's nothing wrong with you, baby. It's nothing wrong, and you can't fix everybody who you with. You can offer them help. You could take that damn horse to the water, but should that motherfucker die of dehydration, that's not your part, okay? 
So I definitely feel that for some of you all, you really just shed light, uh, you know, shedding wisdom. Um, on pretty much you're gaining the wisdom, you're taking the wisdom during this time from situations versus looking at things from a negative aspect. You're looking at the positive, you know. Yeah, you know that person came in, they reconciled, they really weren't about shit, you know. But however, God, thank you for really allowing me to, you know, spend that time, have that moment of closure with my soulmate, cause I'm gonna block them. You better, you better know, and I'm a block them and show it. In God we trust. I'm a blocking professional, okay. And I'm talking to Sagittarius. Y'all don't play, play with the block button y'all have a whole rsvp to the block parties okay so i definitely feel like there's going to be some light shed on the situation um for some of you all this could have to do with the father figure okay um either you the father figure or this could have to do with your father figure but spirit is bestowing some form of um divine intervention through way of your dreams some of you guys' dreams during this time are going to be extremely vivid for some of you all, you're honing new spiritual abilities. Some of you all were already um, aware of the fact that you're clairvoyant, but some of you all may wake up and find out that you're as cloudy and you hear people from the other side. You hear spirits from the other side and they're wanting you not to be afraid, but to make a choice. It had This has to do with your life path, your destiny. Um, this also has to do with your actual purpose. OK, so for some of you all, spirit is trying to give you peace during this time but a lot of y'all have to i'm hearing surrender surrender you need to surrender you're going to need to surrender if you cannot you cannot control every every aspect of every situation some of you all you, you you're being gifted the uh um, being gifted knowledge or wisdom about situations to give you that internal closure that internal fix that you need in order to release fully release and move forward okay spirit is saying do not stay in that place of sadness yes let those emotions surface but you still need to find some form of momentum after the fact okay for some of you all you have a decision to make and this is kind of getting to what i'm saying <clears throat> you can make the choice okay you have a choice to make you can make the choice, and some of you are, you're making the choice to just completely start over. Start over and focus on spiritual abundance because you understand when you're spiritually abundant and you understand when you're walking in spiritual abundance, everything else shall follow because you understand the law of attraction. You understand how to manifest the things that you want. You understand to keep your thoughts in a positive place because they're manifesting at a very rapid rate. Some of you all are having to make a decision. Really watch who y'all, I, I keep telling y'all. During this time, some of you all may um, be finding out that some of y'all have someone within your family. This could be a hell of an uproar that's taking place that's going to um, cause you all to have to possibly start over. This could be within um, some type of partnership or some type of marriage. But for some of you all, it's actually ending karmic relationships, actually ending karmic cycles in your life of codependency, of um, feeling as if you have been abandoned, you know, it's looking at situations without judgment and making a choice to move forward and taking what you've learned, taking the wisdom that spirit has bestowed on you within those situations and moving forward and actually <clears throat> focusing on how you can apply that, why you had to go through that. For some of you all, this is a time where you better keep the damn grass low because the snakes is out and they ready to bite your ass. Do not give the snakes the venom to bite you with later. Watch what you tell people, okay? <clears throat> some y'all are really going to be making the choice to really speak your mind during this time. Spirit needs you to speak your mind because some of you all are really holding on to internal wars. And for some of you all, it's stemming from possibly a mother figure. For some of y'all, a father. And you're choosing to release this sadness, choosing to release this, um, I'm hearing grudges. Release the, for some of you all, it's grudges. You know, or judgment towards the situation. You learn that in acceptance, you understand that I can't change who you are, but I can accept who you are and just deal with your ass accordingly. Okay? So you're needing to make a decision. For some of you all, it's actually allowing spirit to take you through, move you through this awakening and actually comfort you through this awakening. And for you, a lot of y'all really need to get out in nature as well. Some of y'all got a massive ass download coming in nature, especially those of you who are dealing with a twin flame or a past life karmic soulmate who's a Virgo. For some of you all, you're really learning that this person has some ties to um, some, some, some sort of sorcery. OK. And for some of you all, that is having to do with your life path. And there, there, there's this needing to I'm hearing fences, men fences. OK, even if you're not going to choose to stay in that twin flame partnership, there's a need to mend fences. Something about judgment. 
Maybe this person reminds you a lot of your mother or something about your mother. For some of you all, it could be vice versa about your father. But you're needing to walk into your destiny during this time. Some of y'all are going to be moving towards your life purpose. You're making the choice to allow this awakening, allow this understanding, allow spirit to uh, intervene in situations and circumstances where you're no longer, where, where there's no longer bringing you growth. That's no longer going to assist you in protecting your spirit, assist you in following your path, your soul contract. It's soul contract time, baby. It's time to, for us to... Really, really, really listen to our inner selves because a lot of us, we fuck up when we overthink, okay? So Spirit is saying don't overthink the situation, Sag. Your dreams are very, 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 very revealing during this time. Trust yourself and trust what it is that you're synchron. Trust the synchronicities that you're seeing. Some of you guys during this time are going to be possibly seeing a lot of frogs, which signify your abundance. Some of you all could also be internally conflicted because you are trusting your dreams and it's kind of coming up. You're being made aware of either a destined um, soulmate relationship, a destined path. For some of you, I'm hearing ancestral. For some of you all, you're, you're realizing the karma, the, her the, the, the heritage or the ancestral karma that you were sent here in this life to assist in mending or transmuting. But you definitely have a decision to make in spirit and saying there's no need to worry because no path is the wrong path. Everybody focuses on a fucking right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. It's an understanding. It's enlightenment. If you don't know, if you, you have to go through some shit and bump your head in order for you to know better. So stop judging yourself. It was destined. Your life path was destined. For you to make a free will choice, a free will decision to move forward in the path that best suits you. You can't save everybody, Sage. Okay? Mm, that was deep. All right? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. In love. From the 1st to the 15th of March. What messages do you have for my Sagittarius? In love. The first to the fifteenth of March. Mm. Yeah, Spirit is saying allow, allow yourself to go on ending cycles, starting new cycles. Allow this cycle, uh, surrender your control over situations that are not supposed to be, or situations that are supposed to take a shift. There is divine intervention, and for some of you all, it's ending a cycle and not holding on to what may be lost, and actually. Taking that leap of faith, jump off the cliff, Sagi. What are you scared for? You already know what you have to do. For some of you all, this could have to do with your work. This could have to do with you actually leaving one job and going to another that actually is actually in alignment with your soul path. For some of you all, it's taking a leap of faith to possibly work on a soulmate relationship. Yeah. Some of you guys could have someone watching you or could have been watching or you could be watching someone else. Yet there is like resistance on the actual movement portion of <laughs> the union. I feel that um, I'm, I feel so much stubbornness, you know, and I'm hearing ego. There needs to be an ego death. We're going into a new cycle. Or there will be an ego death. For some of you all, it's actually giving or receiving an offer possibly from an earth sign. Some of y'all are going ending cycles and going to brand new cycles, possibly with an Aries person with the Capricorn towards Virgo. And some of you all are afraid to take that leap because you could be tied to an air sign, a younger Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you or this other person is current, what, what could have been currently resisting a relationship or resisting some form of commitment. And wham, you know, fate actually runs you back into possibly someone from your past and um, allows this opportunity. Some of you are existing. Yeah, this independence. Some of y'all have a fear of releasing someone or something due to the fact that you're afraid of being financially independent or you're afraid to actually move on your own. Or actually, for some of you all, you've been tied to people so long that you don't really know how to be by yourself because you're so used to attaching to other people's energy. Or for that, if this could not be you, this could be a crosswatch. Y'all take it how it goes, okay? For some of you all, yeah, some of y'all are moving away from an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like, and it could have to do with some form of deception, 
this is going to take you into a new cycle. I definitely feel like some of y'all are internally confident about moving into this new cycle, even though you intuitively know which way to go. For some of you all, this has to do with a Capricorn, possibly someone moving away from someone or internally conflicted about moving away from um, a toxic a toxic situationship, a toxic union. For some of you all, this is definitely something that's karmic. This could also involve a Leo sun card here. But some of you all are wanting to press restart, start fresh with someone, something. Some of you all are watching this person. This person could be watching you, seeing you flourish and seeing you independent. Why well, y'all watch out? Because it's income tax time. <laughs> y'all know this is the most of the material channel. We're going to tell the truth over here. Okay. <clears throat> all right, Spirit. Let me, let me ask. Oh, y'all yeah, cards want to jump. But clarify the major icons, okay? Some of you all could also be... Um, some of y'all could also be randomly just telling someone during this time, fuck it, I'm moving. I'm going to focus on my money. Or some of you all could be moving away from toxic situations, toxic jobs, toxic people, toxic friendships, and just focusing on what best suits you and your path and which you're trying to walk on. Okay, so Spirit, why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Yeah. For some of you all, you intuitively know that someone who you've been trying to manifest is going to be coming forth towards you during this time. And I feel like you could be tied to someone or something that is toxic and you're kind of internally conflicted because you know the spirit is kind of on your ass about making a move. Yet you just kind of feel, feel like, well, not today, tomorrow. And tomorrow don't come. <laughs> oh, kind of like me with planning things. You know, there's a need to actually move it forward. Yeah, y'all caught this shit. Yeah, kind of like me with planning things. It don't go well. Shit. So with that spirit of saying relinquish control, things will be as they shall be. For some of you all, this is about <clears throat> I'm sorry, for some of you all, this is about working on um or continuously putting efforts into a, a situation that you know is karmic, that is toxic. And I feel like the internal conflicts, the uncomfort that is within your soul is spirit, your inner God. Your inner God is telling you what the hell is you waiting on, said y'all aboard. It's time to move. Okay, why is the world card here? Why is the world card? Some of you all are really needing to release. Yeah, for some of you all, this could be actually taking a leap of faith and moving forward, trying something new, restarting a relationship, possibly with an Aries person. This could also possibly be um, a Virgo. Okay. Some of y'all could also be moving away from water signs. I feel the energy of someone like running. Who's on the run? Like someone could be running and hiding from somebody. Like I literally feel the energy of somebody trying to get low, get low, like get low, literally like hiding in bushes and shit. Some of y'all, this could also be a various obsessive um, energy. This could have to do with an air sign. Gemini, not leaving quick. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who definitely wants to work on something with you, but it's like they are a professional stalker, but they suck at talking. Like they, they stalk, but they don't talk. Get me? That's weird. Yeah, but there is internal conflict here. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who has definitely, like, some type of low self-esteem. And I feel like as much as you try to work on things and build into that person, that person just really don't get it. They're kind of fix, fixated. Fix, fix, fix. I heard fix, but funny I said fixated. Some of y'all could also be dealing with an Aquarian, um, a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. <clears throat> but something is coming in fast. Hmm. For some of you all, this could be actually um, possibly like returning to the mother or the father of your children. But I definitely feel like some of y'all really need to be aware of the fact that this could be something that is kind of short lived. I'm seeing and keep, uh, keep in mind that we are going into that Mercury retrograde in Pisces uh, starting March 5th. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? For some of you all, you're working on a partnership due to finding out that someone's pregnant. Congratulations, Mocha. Love the kids. <laughs> For some of you all, this has to do with moving away from a job or for some of you all actually just moving over, starting completely over to a whole new place. And it looks to be very successful. You got the Empress with the Ace of Clubs. Looks to be very successful. So I feel like if you're internally conflicted about an actual move, the move looks to be the, the move looks to be very positive. It's going to be abundant. It's going in your favor. Where's the sun card here for? Why is the sun card here? Ooh, that was flip. Yeah. Some of you all, you're moving towards, you're going to go get your damn Leo back, okay? But some of y'all, you're moving away from, you're moving towards something new. You don't want anybody from your past. You don't want to renew any damn thing. You just really want to focus on your abundance, okay? Focus on your money because you go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress with the Ace of Clubs. 
So I definitely feel like whatever you all are afraid to take a leap towards, Spirit is saying jump off the cliff, Sash. Jump off the cliff. For some of you, this has to do with love, offering your love to someone, actually being vulnerable and actually opening up and, you know, being opening up and fully being all the way present in a situation. This could have to do with the water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I definitely feel like someone is wanting to reconcile with someone. And I do see victory here. I also see that this is past life connected, but there's also a fear of someone being rejected. And Spirit is saying, fear not. Take a chance, Sag. Take a chance. This is the outcome. Take a chance, Sag. For some of you all, the cards are in your favor. For some of you all, <clears throat> truth and clarity. Clear-cut communication has to be had in order to renew things. But the renewal looks damn good. So stop being afraid and jump off the cliff, my babies, okay? So this is what I have for my Sagittarius uh, between now and, well, today's the third, y'all. Forgive me. Y'all know I be tardy to the party. Shit, I be planning to be on time. And it's like that shit is an omen to be late. Weird. But this is what I have for you guys. If you need a personal reading, you guys hit me up, all right? I will see you mid-month March. I love y'all. Namaste, babies.